Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to my shop. It's a uh, cold November day, so perfect day to get in here and uh, get some work done. Actually, we're gonna make some money. So, just had a rust job come in. So, uh, let me get you over to the workbench and show you what we got. What you're looking at is an auger. A local grain mill brought this in. So their line is down, so they need this fixed ASAP. Let's see if you guys can see this or not. So this is the business end here, I guess, that needs fixing. Um, they attempted a repair, and then like right here, uh, you know, it's already starting to crack again. So basically what they've asked me to do is remove all this and reproduce it but make it beefier and uh, don't know if you guys can pick it up or not but the auger does have a slight bend in it so they're gonna have to replace this thing at some point in time but for right now you know they just need it up and running their line is down so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just you know cut this stuff off I'm, I, don't, I may show it I may not and you know we'll find us some stock if I got some That'll work. If not, we'll have to uh, take a piece of solid and turn it down. So we need to keep the um, ID the same and the depth of the bore, but they want the uh, OD beefier, obviously. And then um, this piece here, they just welded it on, but it needs to be the same height as that and come back around. So, and there is a, like an internal stub shaft right here, looks like, um, cause I think the rest of this thing is hollow, so. Got a couple things to deal with, a couple measurements that are critical, a couple that are not. So let's go ahead and get this thing uh, knocked out. So hopefully I can have it done by the end of the day and then get their line up and running. So got a video for you guys. Well, I've got that paddle ground off and I ground a lot of the little welds and boogers and just trying to get this thing back to halfway round. It's still a little bit oblong because it's been stretched and where it started to crack. Now I did find this nice hunk of uh, uh, mystery steel, but the bore is perfect. If this was one and a half inch in diameter, it would fit just right. But since it's flared out, it's not going to go on. But what we can do is you know, bore this out so it's a nice slide fit. And we don't need this much thickness. I'll probably take her down. So we've got about a quarter of an inch. And that way we can just sleeve it and slide her on and we'll be good. And then, uh, you know, get a paddle and weld her all up. That way you know, I don't have to worry about clocking these holes, you know, redrilling and all that if I cut all this off. I think I'll be making more work for myself. And they just want this up and running. Obviously they're gonna replace this here once they get a new one in because it is bent, but they got to get the line up and running. So, you know, save them some money and, um, you know, I can get this knocked out and they can get back up and running. So that's the plan of attack. Let's uh, get over to the mill. Oh, mill. Duh. <laughs> Let's get over to the lathe. That would be a little bit better and uh, start working on this piece of stock. Before I take you guys over to the lathe, I figured I would show you how bent she is hopefully the camera's picking this up so she comes and then rink. <laughs> yep they need a new one i'll set up over here at the lathe so this bore is uh one inch five hundred thousandths you know one and a half inch in diameter the shaft od on that auger is uh one and a half inch in diameter but the problem is, you know, the end is flared up a little bit. So the largest reading I'm getting is about 30 thou over one and a half inches. So we don't have to do much. Just take a skim pass off this baby and get her a nice slide fit. So that's what we're going to do.
Mama Zero here. We gotta go in uh, three and a quarter inches. Zero out my cross side. Let's bring you down in. Um, like I said, it don't take much, so we'll do uh, we'll do ten for a total of twenty. test fit I'm getting about one two five I think I got the largest there he is so might be able to tap it on another five thou so let's go over and test fit it real quick before I take it out I'm gonna go ahead and mark it so I can get her back in where she needs to be if for any reason we gotta take it to take some more all right. Well, she wants to go, but we need a few more thou, so not a problem. Get this line back up. And that's what we'll do. Alright, it just dialed in five. I'll give us ten, so Should give us plenty of room. It's hard to take like a two thousand skim pass with a boring bar and carbide, so figure I'd grab a little more. Should fit now. Okay, good. It's a decent fit. Looks like I got a little extra weld over on this side down here to grind off, and she'll slide flush up to where that uh, paddle starts. Cool. Alrighty, now we just need to do is uh, take down some of this OD here. To set my zero, let's go ahead and take this thing down a little bit. Just gonna do it dry. bad finish for 1018 and go ahead and bury it a little bit let's do another uh, 50 thou for a total of 100 
should be the last pass. Still getting a decent finish as the diameter gets smaller. So it's only gonna take a few passes, decide not to run coolant. Let's let it cool down and I'll uh, break a couple edges. Well, not too bad of a mess, but they look good. All that heat come out on the chip, not on the part. Alrighty, broke the uh, outer and inner edges, let the part cool down. Now I'm going to go ahead and part her off. Don't have much to go through, so I'm just going to do her dry. Should be alright. Just keep feeding. Well, there you go. We got us a nice fit. Had to do a little more grinding, but she looks good. Probably can't see it very well with the light in here. But looks like we're a little long, so I'm gonna mark this, take it back over the lathe, and just cut this down so she's flush. And then, well, I can't do this in one hand. And then I'll have to, uh, you know, find the holes for the bolts to go through. And then uh, you know, cut out a piece here for uh, extending the paddle, weld everything up, and then uh, bam, I can call the customer and he can get back up and running. Got the piece over here at the mill. I think the first hole on the left side is about, uh, it's close to 800 thou, but just a little smidgen in, so I'm at 780. So we'll just uh, spot it and uh, take it out to 3 eighths. Now, I don't know if they drilled that hole straight through the end of that auger, so I'm just going to drill this top one and we'll test it. And if I have to, then we can hand drill it if the hole is, you know, off to the left or to the right. Got the sleeve on, got the holes drilled. As they requested, they wanted me to move this over about uh, an eighth of an inch or so. So I think the shaft that goes in here was uh, budding against the... Uh, internal shaft that they've got in here so it may have been causing them problems i just wanted a little bit of a gap there so i moved this one over so sleeve is ready to go just need to uh make this web or paddle whatever you want to call it so let me get this out cut out cleaned up and we'll get everything welded up and then i can call the customer and uh, he can come grab it well, I was running out of time. The clock was ticking. They needed this before five before they shut down. So I just went ahead and got her done and got her welded up. I didn't bother showing it. But uh, so I got her welded there, got her in the top, got this web or paddle done. So I just need to uh, wire brush the welds, get some of the BBs off, and we'll be good. He's in route now to come pick it up. So. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little project. It was a little bit tough to video because I was trying to get it done, but uh, hopefully, you know, 
customer will be happy and uh, I'll get repeat business and you guys enjoyed the video so hey thumbs ups are always good comments are always awesome and we'll catch you on the next video thanks guys bye